Congratulations to Bianca. Well-deserved. And my question going into tonight was, we know Sasha Banks is the boss. We know she's one of the best wrestlers in professional wrestling today. The only question that I said that was open between her and Charlotte that's going to elevate them into this iconic status is can they make stars? Can Charlotte make stars? Can Sasha make stars? And tonight, you witnessed Sasha Banks go from the best to an icon. This match, you will watch just like you watch Brett and Austin, where Brett put over Austin. Again, I know Austin lost the match at WrestleMania 13, but that's the one that made Austin catapulted him way into superstardom. You took him legit after that match. Um, you're going to take Bianca Belair legit after this match. Again, I know, listen, WWE booking, it depends on where, where we go from here, but without a shadow of a doubt, the story that was told in this ring for this main event, I love the fact that she turned heel in the middle of the match. I know a lot of criticisms going into Sasha Banks versus the, the build between Sasha Banks and Bianca was, is, is is who's the face? They're both acting like faces. I don't get it. I, I need a heel. Well, definitively, you got a heel in the middle of this match. And the... Sasha started pulling Bianca's hair and you started seeing heel tendencies out of Sasha when she started losing. And that was mwah, chef's kiss. What I'm trying to tell you is in storytelling in the ring, that's iconic behavior. And what I'm telling you right now is you saw Sasha Banks become an icon tonight.